everybody. It's Deidre Helmick here with Success Revolution. And I have a slightly personal question to ask you. Do you wear Spanx? I do, some of the time. I, um, mostly I wear yoga pants. <laughs> and sometimes jeans. I don't have a lot of opportunity to wear Spanx these days because I work from home. The only time I go out is to walk my dog, so Spanx aren't really necessary. But the odd time that I do get a little bit dressed up, I like to wear Spanx because it kind of smooths the bumps and lumps that this almost 49-year-old body has developed. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the Spanx. But even more than being a fan of the product, I'm a fan of the woman behind the product, Sarah Blakely whom I'm sure you are familiar with. Uh, Sarah started Spanx in 2000. She started it all on her own. She took a $5,000 investment, money that she had saved up to start Spanx. And she saved up this money from her job as a door-to-door -door fax salesperson. And, um, and I think she had a few other uh, jobs too. I think she did some stand-up comedy and a few things like that. But anyways, she took this $5,000 investment and um, by 2012, turned it into a billion dollar company. She first ended up on Forbes billionaires list in 2012. And she's back on that billionaires list again this week or last week, I guess it was. And, um, and that's because she sold um, her majority shares of the company, not all of them, but majority shares, to a giant equity firm called Blackstone. And, um, and it brought the company's worth up to $1.2 billion. And I think that's amazing. I think it's absolutely amazing. And, um, and so, of course, that for a lot of us, puts Sarah Blakely very firmly in the successful female entrepreneur group, right? Of course, she made she's made $1.2 billion. We all look up to her. She's very innovative. She's, um, she's kicking ass, really. But I also want us all to think about what that means um, for the rest of us, because we're not all going to become billionaires. We're not all going to end up on Forbes billionaire list, let alone self-made billionaire list. We are, um, we all have to find our own pillars of success. Uh, we're not all going to be Sarah's. And so I've been thinking about what my pillars of success are, especially when it comes to my business. And not only my business, but, but the lifestyle that my business has provided me. I've been an entrepreneur for about 20 years. Funny enough, my oldest daughter is almost 20 years old. So I became an entrepreneur at about the same time as I became a mom. And one of the reasons that I decided to get out of corporate and become an entrepreneur is because I wanted to have the type of work that would allow me to be available for my children. And so that was a big part. That's one of my pillars of success is that I've always been available for my family. And now it's not only being available for my children, my kids are now 13 and 19. They don't need me quite as much these days. Um, not, I'm not saying that they don't ever need me, but they don't need me as much. But my, my aging parents need me now. They're, they, they need me to help out with some appointments tomorrow. So I love having the flex flexibility. Um, I also love having the flexibility to be able to have some self-care time. Every day I go for a walk in my city's river valley. I get out, pretend that I'm in nature, and that's a huge pillar of success for me. The type of work that I do, so working with women and um, helping them realize their dreams, especially those women that want to start their own businesses and become entrepreneurs. I love working with women like that. That's a huge part of, of um, success for me. Um, also being able to work anywhere in the world. I've done work while being in Ireland. I've done work while being in the desert. I've done work while holidaying near the ocean. I've been able to just pack up my laptop and go off and do work anywhere in the world 
often my clients or my customers don't even realize that I'm not like sitting in my home office doing work where they might think that I'm doing. They usually don't care where I'm doing my work. Um, but I also really enjoy working in my home office. I think it's really pretty here. I've got my puppy by my side and, um, and I think it's just a really nice place to be. So I've got these pillars of success. They're not a billion dollars. I don't know if that is one of my pillars of success. Not a billion. I can, that sounds like a lot of work to me. And that sounds like managing a lot of people. I've got a very small team and, um, and that's fine with me. I like it that way. So billion dollars? I don't think so. But I've also, I'm also making enough money that I get to travel, that I get to enjoy um, seeing new places and that sort of thing. So think about what your pillars of success are. And that's what you shoot for. Don't think about, well, shit, I didn't make a billion dollars, so I guess I'm not a success like Sarah Blakely is. That's not what I want you to think about. I want you to think about what your pillars of success are. All right. I hope this helped and I hope you're doing really well and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.